Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Please take this moment now with helping me. Click here, subscribe. Next, click this bill. Next, ensure to click all. This helps you receive a notification when I posted my next videos. Next, click this thumbs up button. After every time you watch my video, this pushes it up in the engagement ratings and means it will be suggested to more people, therefore it's likely to get more views to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I also have a Patreon page. Click show more. Scroll down. This link here, my Patreon, click on it. Select a membership. With this membership, you'll get access to all this information. Very good content. Monday, July 5th. 0956 AM New York time discussing the energy sector and within the energy sector, the industry of solar, solar stocks. I'm going to show you another feature you can apply. Type in Yahoo. Go to yahoo.com. Click on finance. Type in some solar stocks. Have you ever heard of First Solar? Click on profile. Name of the company, First Solar, stock symbol, Foxtrot, Sierra, Lima, Romeo. Sector, technology. Industry, solar. Again, I'm looking at energy sector and solar in there. So again, this is a technology solar company, but it's still as well related to the energy. Got it? It's an American company in Tempe, Arizona. Let's look at another one. If you haven't heard of Canadian solar, Stocksville, Charlie, Sierra, India, Quebec. Again, I have the profile clicked on. Solar industry, Canadian company. Let's look at another one. Sunrun, Romeo, Uniform, November. Yep, it's in the solar industry. It's in San Francisco, California. I'm sure there's several that are in China. Let's look. Try DQ. DQ. It is a solar company where well, they make products for solar. But again, this sector's technology in their industry, semiconductor, equipment, materials. Yep, they're in China. And certainly they are related to solar. I'm looking here at the description, solar power solutions. So it has a relationship to solar. And let's look at one more here. Have you ever heard of Sun Power Corporation? Sierra, Papa, Whiskey, Romeo. There we go, another solar industry company. California, United States. Let's go look at the charts. Start off with each chart will be one year. Each candle will be one week. Since the market is closed today, we are still looking at the current candle, which related to the last week. First one is Charlie, Sierra, India, Quebec. Here's the high for the year, the yellow horizontal line. I have labeled on each chart, each grid, be the high of the year. And then I already have the consolidation areas labeled. So we are not at the all time high. Here's what clap happened on the past weekly candle. Long tail, small body, long tail on top, broke above this consolidation. So this could be considered a bearish bias candle here. We might have follow through further on the downside. Consolidation, breakdown, consolidation, breakdown, consolidation. What are some differences in these consolidations? Look how wide this one is, wide price range. Wide price range going vertical. When we broke down, we have wide balance area, but it's more horizontal 
of the length, how I broke down, created another balance area. Both, it's not as much as vertical, so they're tighter training ranges, but it's in a balance area. It's tighter training range. It's building a coil. The coil was getting tighter. It finally broke out last week. So if you're bullish, maybe you look for the opportunity. If it dips down back inside here on the faster time frame, looking at the daily or today candles, for potential trigger single to buy on the long side if you're bullish. Oh, we definitely have a demand zone down here. This was the buyer area and it reversed. So maybe there's accumulation here. Let's go look at the next, see if there's some relationships between some of these stocks. Delta Quebec, here was the high for the year. We were near the low of the year. We had a hammer, bullish pin bar formed down here, and we had a reverse of the week. And look, the daily, the weekly candle here that formed similar to the prior stock, huge consolidation. Echo, November, Papa Hotel, the high for the year. Same thing. Look how this consolidation was much more vertical, broke down. This became tighter and cleaner because this had a lot of whipsaw and huge price action, where this is much more overlapping, broke down, and then we had that reverse down here, this hammer bullish pin bar, first consolidation breakout. This is trending upside very strongly. So right now, this is looking stronger than the other ones I just showed you. Green for several weeks, making higher highs, higher lows. This is starting to look like leadership. Foxtrot, Sierra, Lima, Romeo. There was a high for the year with this. When we broke down, huge sell-off. Here's the low for the year. So since the low of the year, when the low occurred, it came down and tested this, which was a demand zone. Buyers were here. And it went down, tested it again, rejected it. Buyers stepped it again. Consolidation, breakout to the upside. Huge move two weeks ago. Huge move up. And this is the past week. So it looks like buyers stepping in, bringing this up. That's good. Juliet Kilo Sierra. Here's the high for this year. And we had sold off early in the year. Most of these right now we're seeing it did sell off the highs early in the year. Consolidation was getting smaller. Look at this consolidation, it was smaller. And then you had that reversal form down here, tweezer bottoms. Reversed, broke out from this new consolidation, broke out. So look, it's pretty clear here that mo momentum's going to the upside. Consolidation, breakout, consolidation, breakout. On to the next. Mike Alpha X-ray November. Here was the high for the year. Notice what kind of candle from there. Again, I showed you this is a bearish pin bar. The location where it occurred on the top of a trend. Huge tail, twice as long, three times as long as the body. Bearish pin bar. And we had a sell-off. Solidation, a lot of vertical. Huge sell-off further. And then it's getting tighter there and even smaller there. Look at this. Really tight consolidation, small trading ranges, broke out, momentum's going to the upside. Okay, let's look further. Another set of them on the next. So we're looking at six grids and have five stocks in them. You see some patterns already? We're not at the all time highs, but looks like we reversed on most of them, or all of them so far. We first off the bottom, so the momentum's going to the upside. We're getting the, the sector, sorry, the industry is picking up momentum to the upside. Where are you? Are you allocated to a certain percentage of this? Do you have any solo stocks? Are you managing your own portfolio? Is someone else managing your investment portfolio? Maybe consider investing 3% of your portfolio, 5%, 1% into solo stocks and look at the strongest ones. As long as they continue going higher, you stay in them. And if they fail to outperform or maintain the momentum to the upside, you're not married to them. Don't stay in them. There we go. High for the year, broke down, consolidation, broke down, consolidation, the momentum's up. Curious, let's not know, let's see what country they're out of. And if you're gonna invest in a solar stock company, do you, this is in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, so back to what I was saying, if you're gonna invest in a solar company, not necessarily buy and hold for one week for a swing trade, but longer duration, maybe several months for a year, you might consider also, where is that company based in? Is it based in North America, meaning United States, Canada, or Mexico? Or is it based in 
China and which company has better opportunity for more market share, which company has a lease uh, restrictions that might be applied by imports. Well, something from China coming to the United States, you know, could be easily blocked or tariffs added. So just take that in consideration, but that's all fundamentals. I'm not interested in that. I use technicals. I'm just sharing with you what I used to do fundamentals sometimes I would consider. Okay, let's go on to the next. R-U-N, here was the high for the year. Look at this consolidation staircase pattern, lower low. Tight consolidation, built a wedge, broke out, momentum going to the upside. That last week there, that's interesting. That candle right there is a dodgy, small body, long tails on top and bottom. So we may see a consolidation or reversal, which would be a pullback. Pullback and weakness be an opportunity to buy. Zero Echo Delta Gov. Yep, here's the high for the year. It's been selling off hard. Had the hammer form here, bullish pin bar, huge breakout, consolidation. It's going good. Again, it's got another dodgy up here. Might be a potential pullback. Sierra Papa Whiskey Romeo, the high for the year. I look at the beginning of the year. The first four weeks, we're all making higher highs, higher lows, nice run up. And maybe some administration policy or some well, could it be a policy that was started, written by Congress or by the president that made it brought things down. But there were a lot of people that were saying solar stocks were going to be the positive flow of invest, um, institutional money throughout the whole, whole year. Well, no, there was a sell off. But now it's turning around again. You have a lot of disinformation being put out by talking heads on media stations from the politicians to the uh, business channels. So we had acceleration and reverse going up. Tango Alpha November, high for the year. Rejected it when I tried the second time to go up that high, rejected it and sold off, broke below the acceleration. Momentum was down into this acceleration. This acceleration was a tight pricing range, not a lot of whipsaw like this, and still broke lower. And then finally made that reverse here. And consolidation broke out to the upside. So if you notice, almost all these solar industry stocks I'm showing you, the chart patterns look very similar. They are reversing off the lows. They're going momentum to the upside. Institutional money's buying them. Investors are buying them. Have you bought them yet? Or are you going to be late to the game? It's your money. You manage it. Hopefully you manage it better than outsourcing someone else. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Let me know what you thought about this video. And please let me know what you want to see next. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on my PayPal link. You can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe.